Mark Draper from Gem Capital, joined today with Paul Zaratis, CEO of Osbill Funds Management, and today we're talking about Telstra. Paul, what do you see the future for Telstra? Look, I think the future for Telstra is, is quite positive. Um, it's a very well managed group, it's well positioned, uh, it's introducing uh, ongoing new products uh, and it's meeting market uh, needs. It has fantastic coverage uh, and uh, is a well sought after brand by, uh, by most consumers. It continues to grow its market share, which is, uh, which is encouraging, uh, but more importantly, I think for the end user, it actually delivers a, a fantastic product. So the outlook for, uh, for Telstra is, is quite positive. Certainly, the, um, in, you know, we, we often meet with management uh, at Telstra uh, and quiz, quiz them on a number of different areas. Uh, and clearly, uh, from our take, um, that the group is in, is in strong, strong shape uh, and likely to continue to grow its earnings. And do you have a view on uh, the, the future dividend stream? There's been a lot spoken about that recently. Yeah, look, I think the, um, a, a lot has been. Clearly, uh, that's one of the attractions for Telstra, the 28 cent fully frank dividend. Uh, to my way of thinking, it is likely that will be maintained in the foreseeable future. Uh, there's prospect that it could actually be, be increased. Uh, there is some uh, commentators out there and some analysts suggesting that it could uh, increase to around 30 cents in the not too distant future. Uh, we're of the view that earnings uh, will increase, so hence there's prospect for dividend to increase. Fantastic. And um, it, the Telstra share price has run pretty hard in the last uh, 12 months, particularly from uh, you know, bottom down around 250, it's trading right now around 450. Do you have any sort of view as to where fair value is for Telstra? Look, it depends on a couple of things. Uh, you know, clearly, it's, it's all relative against the market and also relative against interest rates. Uh, interest rates have come back quite dramatically, and that's been part of the reason why we've seen Telstra move up quite strongly in the sense that it's been, uh, it's been chased for the yield. Uh, so, hence, the valuation has moved up. But equally, the earnings have been quite strong and likely to continue. Uh, our view is that interest rates are going to remain low for some time and earnings should actually move up a bit further. Uh, so there's uh, this prospect that it could continue to uh, to improve, uh, but I think the you know the big one that we saw earlier this year uh, from its slow point of 250 or thereabouts to where it is today, I don't think you can expect for that to occur again. Uh, but from an income point of view um, and a yield perspective, it's still very attractive. Paul, thanks for your time. Uh, Osbill hold Telstra obviously and have, uh, have for some period of time. Yes, and uh, appreciate your comments.